In a moment, this video will tell you about the fourth and fifth principle of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, condensed by Earl Nightingale. This is Earl Nightingale. The purpose of this recording is to tell you about and try to condense one of the most amazing books ever written, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The fourth principle is specialized knowledge. It is here that I think Napoleon Hill makes a very important point. Knowledge is power only to the extent that it is organized into a definite plan of action and directed to a definite end. To quote from the book, before you can be sure of your ability to transmute desire into its monetary equivalent, you will require specialized knowledge of the service, merchandise, or profession which you intend to offer in return for fortune. Perhaps you may need much more specialized knowledge than you have the ability or the inclination to acquire. And if this should be true, you may bridge your weakness through the aid of your mastermind group. More on this later, but for now realize that you must learn all you can about your specialty. Set aside a definite time every day for learning more about what it is you do for a living. Take the courses that are offered on your subject and associate with men who know your business well. The fifth principle is imagination. The imagination is literally the workshop wherein are fashioned all plans created by man. The impulse, the desire, is given shape, form, and action through the aid of the imaginative faculty of the mind. It has been said that Man can create anything he can imagine. As Napoleon Hill says and teaches, Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Man's only limitation within reason lies in his development and use of his imagination and subsequent motivation to action. The great leaders of business, industry, finance, and the great artists, musicians, poets, and writers became great because they developed the power of self-motivation. Incidentally, one of the best books ever put together on this subject, if not the greatest, is Success Through Positive Mental Attitude by Napoleon Hill and W. Clement Stone. I suggest you get a copy from your bookstore at your earliest convenience. If your bookstore happens to be out of the book, you may obtain a copy by writing to the address on the label of this record. As you go about your daily work, think constantly of ways in which it could be done better, more efficiently. Think of the changes that are inevitable. Can they be made now? And if you feel limited, remember the words of the late Frank Lloyd Wright. He said, The human race built most nobly when limitations were greatest, and therefore when most was required of imagination in order to build it all. Limitations seem to have always been the best friends of architecture. As you build your future from this point onward, don't concern yourself with limitations, but remember that they may be your best friends, since they require imagination if we're to rise above them. And as Beecher said, the soul without imagination is what an observatory would be without a telescope. Now, if you turn this record over, we'll get to the sixth principle. And here is the end of the fourth and fifth principle video. In the next video, I'm going to show you, Earl Nightingale Think and Grow Rich, Sixth Principle, Organized Planning. So, don't forget to subscribe to watch the upcoming video.